welcome back to the channel everyone it's dav here and if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell now real quickly i'm here to make mention of some performances from the jamaica athletics invitation where we would have seen some world lead some personal best and also just a fine showing of track and field now let me first start off with the men's 400 meter hurdles because malik james king yes the malik james king put down a new personal best of 48.3 nine holding off Kyron McMaster and Jaheel Hyde who were second and third respectively this was a job well done from the youngster right now moving on to the women's 100 meters Marie Jose Talu Smith 10.91 this is gearing up to be a very exciting one i'm so excited to see what she does next right and we have to make mention of crystal sole who came in second with 11.09 seconds you know just basking in excitement for this youngster here miss slowly seems to be the breakout star that is coming up you know i'm so excited to see what she does for the rest of the season honestly when it comes on to the men's 100 meters we would have seen you know 10.02 seconds going to both akeem blake and julian fort right and if you ask me julian fort looks to be in really 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 good shape uh seems like he's here to do some damage uh, hoping that you know all goes well for him and he can get himself onto the team to paris right as it pertains to akeem blake i really would have liked to see him in the 200 meters i think it was a fine run by him but i think there needs to be more strength there going forward so I'm impressed with the, the 100 meters because, of course, this is now a new season's best for him. But I would have loved to see him in the 200 meters. But that's just me. As it pertains to the men's 200 meters, one Zarnell Hughes, a really, really fine run by him. 19.96, sub 20. Listen to me. This guy here, he's doing some fine work. And I can't wait to see him, you know, pop off and head to Paris and start to competing in the 100 and the 200. I'm so excited for Zarnell. So happy, you know. And uh, listen, I, I, I'm just waiting to see what this season looks like for this athlete. Because he is doing a, a fine job, you know, getting that bronze medal last year in the 100 meters. It just goes to show that you, you shouldn't stop. Keep pushing. Keep going. Because because you never ever know what can happen lastly i'm here to make mention of one Jadon hebert 17.57 meters listen to me this young man does not cease to amaze me right he doesn't seem to amaze me because i'm saying to myself that 17 just seems to be where he ought to be right and and i would love to see him break the national record would love to see him you know continue to do a good job and even break the world record in the years to come because this guy i think he deserves it all i think he deserves it all he's gonna do for the triple jump what mano the plant is is doing for the pole vault and it, it that's just where it is right now this 17.57 meters would have been would, would have happened behind the board in a negative wind and that my people says a whole lot but what are your thoughts? How do you feel about the Jamaica Athletics Invitational? What were your standout performances? Comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Later, Magan.